Well, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to another episode of the Camel Cowboy Outdoors. Um, I was just back over that little hill. I got a lynx pen there that I'd made, and my bait was gone. I should have showed it on video, but the bait was gone, and something had knocked down um, a couple of the sticks, branches that I had pushed in on the back. They came in the backside and grabbed it. And... Um, we had a bit of a more rain and a thaw, so I couldn't really tell what the tracks were, but I suspected Fisher. And I came up here where I do have a Fisher set. And we caught a Fisher. So I imagine that is the culprit. I um, caught one Fisher here already. And here's another fisher, so I'm going to get them out of there and get this reset again, guys. And and um, I'm going to be on my way. There we go. Got it cleaned up a little bit here and out of the traps. A nice fur, nice female fisher. I'll have to throw it in the bag and be on my way, friends. Stay tuned. Well, I'm on the north side of the lake. There's the island through there. This is the scene of the crime where I had the coyote eaten. There's still hair all over in that tree. Anyways, I had said, uh, after that happened, I set a wolverine box in here, a 330 box. And it um, seems like this warm weather's really got the mustelids moving again because we caught ourselves a fisher in it. Nice fisher. This one's definitely a male. The last one's a female. Yeah, this is a, this is a good looking fisher, friends. See if I can get them out of here. Have a better look at them. Well, ain't a wolverine, but I'm sure a nice fisher. Really a nice fisher, guys. Good male fisher. Alrighty. Well, I'm going to get him out of there, and I'm going to get this reset. And hopefully... That wolverine that had came through here will come back in, come back through this country. That would be nice. All right, stay with me, folks, while I get this reset. looked upset but it's just that with the thaw the box just shifted the trap still in there and everything this is where I caught the mink for dad hoping to catch another one here yet and there you can see how much from the rain and and um, warm temperatures it's thawed under there and the box has just shifted all right I'm gonna level this out guys and I'll carry on 
All right, guys, here we got a, a mink hole. They've been going under the ground. It was one of the fellas asking how I, if I could show how I set these, and it's very simple. I usually pull some grass out, get it around the top, so I can kind of hide it. And I put my trap in there. Like so. And then I usually take some more hay, and I just kind of make a donut around it. So it just hides the trap. And... Let's get my fingers hot in there. There we go. Maybe, maybe we'll catch another one. Hopefully. This is on the north side by the beaver house. Caught a few mink here already this year. It's been a good spot, so. Anyways, looking like it wants to snow and sleet again. I'm gonna carry on, guys. Same, same here, my friends. Um, this is another, well, this is where I caught a couple. This is just down from where I reset that last one. That one is just, just over there. But this is where I caught a few already, and they were going into a hole here. But that's all kind of plugged up, but you look here, they got a new hole going on. A new hole. So, what I'm going to do in this case, what I do a lot of times, especially if it's going to thaw, if it looks like it's thawing, I don't want my trap thawing in and icing. So then... I will actually put down a couple sticks to work as rails for that trap to slide on just to keep it from freezing in. All right. I'll put this trap in there. It's hard to do with one hand, but we'll make do. We'll get it. Then there's nothing to impede them jaws from sliding. They'll slide right nice on there and they won't freeze in. There we go. And then I still usually just make it look a little more, a little cozy. Also this grass kind of Keeps them mink from trying to go under the jaws and come out, you know, come out behind the jaws. Kind of fills the holes in if there's any. That's a darn thistle. Ouch. All right, guys. We'll just leave it like that. All right, I'm on my way to check some more, guys. Well, that's the kind of run it's been, folks. Um, on my little line, it's turned turned into a pretty good fur season for me, um, especially since I didn't even know if I'd be trapping with my shoulder and my back. Um, I just put in a little line. It takes me about an hour to run it, so... I'm pretty happy with the amount of fur I've caught, and um, I'm not done yet, so I hope you guys will stay with me. Um, today, today I showed you know a little bit more of the trap setting and uh, making the sets. I'm not sure if you guys like that or not. Um, I don't know. I always kind of thought it might be boring for you. But I know I had a request to show a mink set. Um, tell me in the comments if that's something you guys like. You know, if you'd like to see some more set making or just prefer to see the catches. 
um, drop it down in the comments and let me know. Until next time, I want to thank you all for watching. We'll see you down the trail.